Hi, today we're going to make a sausage skillet type dinner here, Dutch oven style. We'll call it a get back to camp late. We're camping here in uh, Yellowstone National Park. We're staying in West Yellowstone. We had a lot of fun in the park today, so we're cooking dinner late, but we're going to do something good. We have a bunch of ingredients here, and we're just going to throw them all together. So I'm going to start out. I have uh, some red potatoes here. I have about two tablespoons of butter. I have some seasoning, and we're going to start these first, but over here, let me move that. I have my 10 inch Dutch oven here. We're going to cook this at about 375 degrees. I have 10 briquettes under the bottom. So it's been preheating here for about 10 minutes. So I want to cook these potatoes probably for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then we have a bunch of other ingredients we're going to add on here. So I'm just going to put this in the Dutch oven here. Nice and sizzly. Got our nice campfire going here. Awesome time. It's fall time here in Yellowstone. The leaves are good. The animals are out having fun. We're having fun. We'll set that there. I want to cook this at about 375 degrees. So like I said, I have 10 briquettes underneath. There's the potatoes. I'm going to leave that on. And then I'm going to put like 14 on top. Seven, five, six, seven. So there we go. So we'll uh, kind of arrange these a little bit here. And we'll just let this do its thing for about 15 or 20 minutes and we'll be back. We'll get the sausage in there and the, red, the veggies and go from there. So we'll see you back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. We're back. The way that the sound's coming from the Dutch oven, uh, I think the potatoes are getting close. So let's take a look. We'll pull this off. It's a little dark. Let's pull this lantern over here and kind of set this here. Oh, look at those. Okay, we're back. What we did, we let the potatoes cook for about 15 minutes. Uh, we had a little technical difficulty here at camp, but when we added the other ingredients, but it's good, but I want to show you what we've done here. So we cooked these red potatoes for about 15 minutes, and then we added all our other ingredients for this uh, get back to camp late uh, skillet here. But I'll just kind of grab this and point this out. We have some chicken sausage here. We have some uh, purple onion. We have fire roasted peppers in there, mushrooms. But look at that, it's sizzling up nice. We just added all these other ingredients, had a little olive oil in here to get this thing going good. We're uh, 375, same heat. And I think I'll just cook this for about 15 minutes. So let's just put the top on there. We'll just sit back, enjoy a little beverage or something, sit by the fire and we'll see you back in 15. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I think we're good to go. So let's just uh, we'll pull the lantern down here and check this out. It smells awesome. We're having such a blast here. Good times. We'll just pull that lid off. Oh yeah, look at that. That is sweet. So I'll just grab a little a little plate here. But look at that. That cooked cooked up so nice. awesome so this is what we did uh, sausage skillet slash get back to camp late because we're having so much fun in Yellowstone and this is sweet so I hope you enjoyed this we'll see you next time Hi, this morning we're going to cook a little breakfast with some leftovers here we made last night. We're in Yellowstone camping and we cooked uh, this. We called it a sausage skillet type get back to camp late. We cooked in the dark, but it was yummy. But it has red potatoes, peppers, onions, mushrooms, everything. So what I'm going to do here is I have my 10 inch Dutch oven. We're going to cook this at about 350 degrees. So I have eight briquettes under the bottom. 
So we're just gonna put this yummy leftover skillet stuff in here. Sizzling a little bit. But I'm gonna heat this up for 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna go to the next step and add eggs. So I have eight under there, so we're gonna put like 10 on top. Five, five, a couple to spare. So let's just kind of arrange these in. We'll look, let this warm up a little bit for, and then we'll be right back uh, to add the eggs. See you back. All right, let's do this. Uh, this should be warming up nicely. Let's check this out. Like I said, oh yeah, look at this. This is the leftovers from last night's dinner. Chicken, sausage, skillets. So I'm just gonna put this right like that. I'm gonna, then we're gonna do three eggs on top here. So let's get these on here. I'm gonna crack these over the top. Look at that, that looks awesome. Our peppers always give us such good color. Those yolks. I think I'll bust these yolks up a little bit like that. Set that there. We'll do a little salt and pepper. Mm, smells great. And I'm just gonna give this, we'll check this in about eight or 10 minutes. Should be good to go. We're going to toast up a little muffins to go with it on the side. So we'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay, we should be good to go, so let's take a look and see here. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and steamy. Let's get that. Well, what we did, we toasted some English muffins on the, the Coleman stove over there on a camp toaster. They work out sweet. A little pumpkin butter on there. Dish some of this good. It smells so good. But yeah, just a little leftovers from dinner crack a couple eggs over it and there you have it breakfast yummy hope you liked it we'll see you next time